Hello, my name is Rory Tyler. This is the first narrative poem I wrote. I was on a backpacking trip from the Columbia River up to Seattle to take a, a management job up there. So I uh, had a little campfire there by Mount Adams and that's where I wrote this uh, poem. It's called Smoke. If you've ever been around a campfire much, it'll come as no surprise, no matter where you sit or lay, the smoke gets in your eyes. No matter how you twist and turn or the way the cold wind blows, you can't escape this simple fact. The smoke goes up your nose. You can crawl in a cave or climb up a tree or hide around the biggest of boulders. You can curse it and shun it. You'll never outrun it, that odor. It clings around your shoulders. You can scrub it and scrape it. You still can't escape it. It runs in your blood. It's stuck to your hair before you can say boo to a ranger or two. They'll be ringing up Smokey the Bear. Now this ain't no joke. I was sick of the smoke. Them fumes never took any pity. And although it sounds strange, I left my home on the range and I took a good job in the city. Well, first I run off the bears, and then I rode all the bulls down on Wall Street. I made quite a killing. And I, and I met a young filly who called herself Lily, and partners, I think she was willing. We went up to my condo, and she started to fondle the diamond stick pin on my tie. She put her lips to my cheek, then jumped back with a shriek. I could see the fear in her eye. You fooled me, sir. You said you were a successful western stockbroker. But your nose set me wise to your, but my nose set me wise to your dreadful disguise. You smell like an old jerky smoker. I'll admit that it's faint, that terrible taint. Still, I'll swear this solemn oath. I can't stay by your side. Your true nature can't hide. You're a cowboy or a logger or both. For a while, we'd be happy. We'd look cute and snappy, driving our Mercedes Benz, and then you'd start wishing you were off somewhere fishing with some of your low-down friends. You'd be far away thinking of gambling and drinking out there where the coyote wails, but it's solo you'll ride, for I can't abide the idea of dirt neath my nails. And before I could think, she grabbed up her mink and bolted right out of the door. Well, what could I do? My heart broke in two. I had lost my true lover for sure. I was feeling so low. To the street I did go, where a bus passed and gassed me with diesel. Then I noticed that smog, a brown, ugly fog, as thick as the hair on a weasel. It clung to the ground like a tick to a hound and swirled around the tallest skyscraper. It obscured the gaze like a forest ablaze, so pervasive were those noxious vapors. "'Twas then I knew why that filly did fly, "'though a true lover like me she did find. "'Those fumes were so dense, it made perfect sense. "'All that smoke had done ruined her mind. "'So I pulled on my boots. "'I gave my Brooks Brothers suits to the hobos "'that hang around the mission, "'and though I felt silly about losing Miss Lily, "'she was right. I would rather be fishing. Out here, with my pards, neath the sparkling stars, and here is the thought I will end with. Though the city is gay, in the country I'll stay, where there ain't so much smoke to contend with. <laughs> 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 yeah.